How's it going? Farmer Joe here. Look guys, uh, welcome to my first YouTube video. Uh, we'll get this sorted out eventually. Probably gonna come up crap, but hey. Look, I've been playing this new game. It's called SnowRunner. You'll see it come up right away here. Uh, just starting it up. I've, I've tried it a few times. I've played through. Um, and I've been trying to figure out how to do the first bit as good as you possibly can, and I think I've pretty much nailed it. Um, look, there'll be some arguments one way or the other, and, you know, whatever comments you guys have, I'm happy to hear. Um, you know, this is my opinion on how to do it the best, how to get the most money and level in the quickest manner. Um, but, you know, everybody's always got different ideas, so we'll start a new fresh game. Um, yeah, it's a good game. Uh, I played through quite a bit. Um, yeah, it's got off road driving from real life is an asset. I've done quite a bit of it um, in snow, ice, and mud, um, being from Canada. But now I'm down here in Australia and I play in the sand. But, anyways, neither here nor there. Um, so, yeah, we got this game here. Um, you start off with this basic Chevy truck, there's not much to it. Um, take your handbrake off, you start spinning around, you engage your all wheel drive, and yeah, you just start going along. Now, it's going to tell you that it wants you to go to this tower over here. Um, I'm not going to go there. I will go there, just not right away. Because if you go a different way, you could become much more effective. Um, so, the idea of this is this you know, first 40 minutes to an hour roughly of gameplay, and I'll kind of show you how to get through the best way. Now, you can read those tutorial things you probably should they give you a bit of good information oh don't run into that tree like that it says damage is bad which is true look these vehicles are fairly resilient though they do make it not too bad you can run over these little trees though which is fantastic so oh except for that fella um look one of the best ways in this game to get around quickly is to actually avoid the obstacles as best you can um you know that deep mud pocket i'm gonna sit there and mess with that for a while but of course, if you just don't hit it at all, it makes it much easier. So, avoidance is the best way. Um, I like, as with the game and in real life, I do a lot of touring, and I find that I take the chicken tracks quite a bit. Some people call them chicken tracks, but my vehicle always goes through. I don't have a lot of breakdowns. I don't damage a lot of things. Um, yeah. Anyways, easiest way through is the best way. But yeah, you can go hero mode if you want, but. So anyway, so you take a left onto the track that you see kind of going up the mountain like I'm following along here. Um, you got to watch some of these drops and these kind of tricky maneuvers and stuff that they've got. Um, I do find that in the first opening though, a lot of it's just pedal on. Just keep it on and kind of go. Like I said, try to avoid these mud holes. You can see on the right hand side, it's a, it's a deep hole. If you can stay out of the ruts and stay up on top in between, uh, you're going to travel along a lot quicker get that first tower so now we've got a tower that didn't say to but we got it anyways and we're on our way to the upgrade um, the specific upgrade is actually a suspension lift for this particular vehicle now I don't really need it off the start but what it does equate to is more money because you can sell your upgrades so that's my first tip and trick is that look everything that you sell you can buy back at the exact same price don't mind me I got it you knows um, so it's yeah, you don't really need to sit there and worry about, like, you're not taking a loss when you sell things. There's a tricky corner, so it's left. So all the way up this hill, you want to keep going left up the tracks. Um, I will show you the route that I took, but obviously I have to unlock and open the map. Oh, this one's a little bit tricky. Damn rock. Um, but I have to unlock and open the map just so that I can show you where I went. Um, and I will do that. Now, like I said, navigating some of this stuff can be a little bit hairy. Most of it's pedal to the metal, but there is a section coming up here where you you don't necessarily just want to come in flooring it because you're going to bounce along and you're going to find yourself off the cliff. Good chance, anyways. Um, the game's a bit tricky where you know you steer and it doesn't always turn, but that's just like real life. When you're off road in the mud and, and muck, um, just because you turn the wheel doesn't mean anything's necessarily going to happen. It might be a delayed reaction and then all of a sudden it gives you everything all at once. Just depends on the amount of traction you've got and all sorts of different scenarios. Um, but yeah, look, like, again, like I said, this is the first video that I've got. Um, I'm hoping I'll, I'll be making some more here um, as I progress along. I'll try to do this in a series, hopefully, so you, know, you can follow along if you want, and whenever you don't, or whatever. Um, 
like and subscribe, obviously it's going to help me produce more. Um, if you don't like it, that's good too. I uh, just prefer you tell me why, give me a bit of an idea, change things, improve things. And again, like I said, different people are going to have some different ideas about which way to go. But, um, I've done this restart a lot of times now, and I've found this to be the most effective path, uh, the quickest amount of money to get you to what I consider to be the best starter truck. Um, they have changed actually this recent update, so now there you go, there's that upgrade, right? So that's great. So now we've got that, it's telling me, hey, you got some good stuff, you know, go get it in your garage. That's the other thing too, is this is basically leading you to your garage, um, what, like one mission, two missions or something like that, and then purchasing a proper vehicle, because the first two vehicles are very difficult. Um, that being said, actually, I find that this Chevrolet truck is a really good vehicle um, after you upgrade it. Um, I do have the not the expansion, the DLCs, you know, the premium pack, which gives me the, the cons. Where you come down this hill, go left. Yeah. Um, anyways, you have got those things, but, you know, I'm doing this as if you don't have them. So I won't be using it, I won't be selling it to generate extra income or money or whatever. And that being said, I don't really actually like the con vehicle. Um, people will say it's the best one in the game, blah, 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 or whatever. It's overpowered to start, which, yeah, I guess, I suppose, a bit, but not really. It's very unstable. I find it to be very much a rollover machine. Um, hill climbs and such, it, it's not very good at. It, it likes to uh, likes to teeter over, so you really gotta watch it. I mean, if you're a really good driver, yeah, it's, it is a very apt machine, but um, it's a bit unforgiving too at the same time. So, anyways, uh, the Silverado is actually pretty damn good, um, especially once you get it all tricked out. It, uh, it's probably one of my favorites, other than being a fuel guzzler. That can be a little bit trying at times. So anyway, so you make a right once you get to that next intersection after I made that left coming down the hill. And as I'm coming down around, you'll see the petrol station or gas station. Sorry, I've been in Australia too long. Um, you'll see the gas station coming up ahead. Um, whatever you call it in your country, it doesn't matter. You get fuel. Now, normally you might want to actually get fuel, but I'm not going to in this instance because I'm going to be recalling this truck. It's not going to need it, so it's just a waste of time. So I'll just kind of keep truck along, go past the uh, gas station around the back side of it. Now this is where you're actually going to the original objective that the game wanted you to go to. But you could have taken a highway path, but uh, I'm taking the easy way doesn't always pay. So that's one thing I need to notice in this game. Um, in that note, there's another tip. Um, just because it's shorter doesn't mean you should take it. You will find yourself becoming very unstuck uh, or in actually stuck by taking the shorter path because it's much more difficult. Um, again, going to avoid this mud pocket as best as I can, hug the edges. Didn't even have to deal with it, just went straight around it. Um, best way to get through things. Um, but yeah, you'll find yourself very stuck because it's uh, the shortest way sometimes is the most difficult. Sometimes you got to take a real long way and it, it's, you think to yourself, well, this is taking so much more time, but it's actually really not because when you got to start pulling out other vehicles to come get your other vehicle out, it gets very complicated, things start rolling over, it gets very complicated. It just can become a really bad scenario really quickly. Um, make a couple bad judgments, but you guys will figure that out on your own. That's part of the fun of the game. So anyways, I'm coming down there, I passed the lumber mill, you'll see on the map. I'll show you now pretty much where I went. So we're at the new truck, okay. So I'm just trying to do this in a quick way so that so I'll shut this off. I'll go map, because this is how I jump vehicles, you can just do it directly, but so from the start, which was down here, we went to there, up that track there. Oh, this is taking me in a funny way. Anyways, keep going along, along the track. That's where we took that one left. And then we kept up that track, went along that ledge. Took another left right here. That's the upgrade up there. Came back down. Took a left there. Well, no, no, a left right there, sorry. And then up to here, oh, this is getting messy. Um, and then took a right here, down past the gas station, behind the backside to the main objective right there, up over that way, cut across, down there, and down there, across there, and up there. Now we're at the truck. Now next, we're going to go down here, pick up that trailer, track back up this way, because that trailer has some things we need and the trailer itself is worth money. Back up to town, up there, 
I find this the best way to go in, around, down there, grab that and hook into the other trailer because we're going to take two trailers back and plus our load. So this will be, get a bit interesting, but you'll see um, and you'll see why. Um, anyways, so without further ado, jump into the next truck, launch this thing. Um, look, it's a bit, it's a bit difficult at best. It's only rear wheel, only rear drive axles. There's no all wheel drive. There's no differential locks. It has highway tires. It's about as bad as you're going to get. But uh, lucky for you, this area is not too difficult. Obviously, they do it that way intentionally. Again, avoid the mud puddles. Just go around, stay on the grass, stay on the hard ground as much as you can. It'll just make your life much easier. You can see a huge mud puddle and bog pit in order to get into that trailer, right? Well, just come along here and then hug that power pole. Back in and hug that power pole as much as you possibly can. You'll fall in a little bit into the mud pit, but just keep a set up on the high side and you're pretty good. Now, try not to get yourself down into that hole. Discover the new trailer, you hook it up with your menu system, you'll figure out how to do that. I'm not going to drive you through all that, it tells you all that. Um, once you hook it up, pull it out, again try to stay out on the high side. Now I've got it in high gear, I'm probably going to low range it soon, right about now. Because if you stay too high, you're going to cut yourself in, you're just going to cut a deeper track and you're going to make it more difficult for yourself. So in some scenarios, you gotta, it's better to go slow. Walking through, and once you kind of get out of there, try it again. Yeah, you get a little momentum. That's good. You got a lot of weight on there. You've got no weight on the vehicle itself to hold it down and give you traction. Um, if you find sometimes that you're struggling steering when you're on the throttle, let your let your throttle off just for a second and pump it. I find that to be really handy. It's a really good way to to right yourself so you're not uh, you're not pushing through the corners. You gotta just think of the way the kind of vehicles react. You know, when you have power on, the front end lifts. When you take the power off, the front end drops in, which puts traction more of the front tires, which allows you to turn better. So it's a bit of a thing. So again, I'm gonna try to get across here and get over to the oh, rain. That's awesome. That's gonna make it so much easier. Just kidding. Um, yeah, try to stay over on the sides a bit. Try not to get yourself too far into ruts. And just keep climbing along. If you have to, you can use your winch. Now, if you haven't played the game good before, obviously, you're going to figure out that your winch is your F button, at least on PC, and that's a quick winch, or you can use the menu and pick at multiple different points to winch off your vehicle or a trailer, and kind of pick how you want to do it and what you want to winch to. But the quick way for the quick winch is you use your F button, but you use your camera to kind of see how it kind of pointed at that pole. Oh, but it took the little bush instead, but that's alright. Yes, rain's way really making my life a bit difficult. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, so you, that's how you kind of use your quick winch. You use the, the camera and it'll shoot at whatever generally roughly where you're aiming at. Um, it doesn't always follow that rule, so it doesn't make it funny, but okay. it is what it is. It's very handy to use. Um, F to grab on, R to release. So anyways, we're back up on the, on the tarmac, bitumen, asphalt, whatever you want to call it. Um, get in through town like I kind of showed you. Kind of cruising through. We've got two woods. So this mission that we're looking at, and I'll kind of show you here when I take a pause, um, is you're going to need two wood and you're going to need metal planks. And that's to build a bridge to get across the next area so you can get to your garage. Um, and it's a mandatory mission pretty much. So, so I'm going to hug the right hand side. Just so that I can get over, you'll see why here in a second. Okay, so manage that cargo. I'm going to grab some steel planks here. Metal planks, they call them. Okay, I'm going to change my camera with one. And I'm going to hopefully reach that with that. There we go. Yep, we got it. Beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to suck that in. There's a fence in the way, but don't worry too much about it. So I discovered a new trailer, bring that in as much as I can, and that's good. I won, and hopefully this bad boy comes around the corner, and it does. Now I've got like an Aussie road train, which I don't think the game really intended for you to do this, but hey, I'll put fun in the game if you can't break it a little bit. Um, it does make it more difficult, as you see, coming up. It's not, uh, it's, it doesn't mean it's easy. So we 
got to take wide sweeping corners because you got two trailers on. Pull that winch tight as you can. Get it right up against the other trailer as much as you can. Make it a little bit easier. It's going to whip around. Don't worry about it. It's back there. You're up ahead. Just go for it. Now, there's some cool views in here. Obviously, the in cab is, is awesome. Um, I think it's great. You have a really good feeling to the game. Um, the graphics are fantastic. You know? The haze, the fog, you know, all that sort of stuff. So, I'm coming down the road that it, like, there's that gas station that went by around the backside. So, I'm coming down that same road. Um, there is a big water hole here. Don't worry about it. Just keep on it and get into that hole. Try to avoid that log and just hit it. Just keep on it and hit it. Oh, yeah. More menus telling you about how to drive and the cranes and stuff. I'd recommend reading them. I mean, obviously, I'm doing a speed run of it. Um, that's the whole kind of idea. I'll show you guys how to do this quickly. So that you can get your garage, get your first truck, and then you can go multiplayer with your buddies or whatever the case might be, you know. Um, while them with all the awesome vehicle you got there. Yeah. There's actually two of them that you can end up on. Um, I'll do an extended version. So if you want to just worry about the next first half hour or so, or just get into the garage, that's great. And I'll do another video on how to get the, the second vehicle, which I feel is probably one of the best ones in the game. Well, I've used it all the way through. I'm at level 27, I think, on my normal game. And I still use that vehicle on a regular basis. Anyway, so we've made a left. We've gotten to this non-existent bridge. That's okay. So you need to go in in order to like drop things off. And you need to activate that app. I'm gonna clear all these buttons. So just hold your middle mouse button. So I activated that quest or that mission, whatever you want to call it. And I'm backed out. It's telling me, oh yeah, I need to do this to repair the bridge. That's fantastic. I already can do that. Um, pull into the area. Do your cargo management. Drop off the first set, which is your steel beams. It comes up with a really cool. You know, building the bridge, which is awesome. I really like it. It's the really nice little details in this game. You know, that gets done. You hit the next one. Boom, you got promoted. You're another level up. So, you've already leveled up. You've got an upgrade for your Chevrolet. Um, and you're just getting across to the... Uh, oh, and you got a bunch of money too, which is pretty handy. And now we're getting across. Now look, there's one thing that I've done before, and I found it more difficult. So what I'm going to do is release the winch. Uh, I've come through with it like not doing this and it just made it yeah, a bit of a nightmare to be honest. So I'm just going to push this fella out of the way. Uh, that didn't really work out for him. He's on normal. He's going to pass here. There we go. Okay. Detach him. And I'm just switching out the trailers a bit because what I find is your, your winching trailer, especially if you don't have weight on it, is, seems to create more drag. Um, so if you have the load on one, you're a bit better off um, always winching to the empty trailer, is what I find. So again, I'll suck that in tight and we will get on our way. Alright, that's in on the bridge. So, like I said, I've tried this before, where I did it together, just left it, and uh, I really struggled up this area. So when you get across the bridge, don't be tempted for that left turn, because you know, it looks really nice, you want to take a right. I did the left play, like the first time I ever played, and got all the way up there, there's a big power line over the top, and big blockage, not a lot of place to turn around, it becomes a bit of a mess. So, Fairly important here to kind of pick your path, but keep into it. Once you're on it, just keep on it. You don't have a lot of traction. Um, yeah, things don't want to move very quickly in this area. It's a bit muddy. It doesn't really look like it, but it's a bit deceiving. So I've got a full noise. Um, try to avoid your tree, obviously. That's not going to really help you much. So edge of it, maybe. Try to stagger up on top. Oh no, I kind of fell on that rut. Can get out, get out. Oh, that's gonna do me in. That's it. So now I have to release that winch and quick winch. Yeah, that muddy, that was not good. Maybe low range. All right, we're gonna have to get a bit creative here. So use the side. Pull 
us over and out. us out of the one rut. I don't think we're quite out. Okay, now before you get too far, you got to remember to grab that trailer again. Set your parking brake, suck it in. Sometimes you get to come through here just real easy, but you'll see why I'm doing this. So you're going to want these trailers because you're going to sell them. So all these trailers that you find, you can sell them. And then when you want, you just buy them back or whatever you need them. I'll we'll find it good to clean the map up, plus it gives you a lot of extra money, which is a really good thing, especially at the start. Um, let's see if I can grab the gear. Yeah, is it going to let me? I've just got to get up on this asphalt, tarmac, bitumen, whatever you want to call it. Oh, it's being stubborn. Come on, full noise, high gear, come on. It's only in first though, but yeah, and we're gone. That's it. That was really part of the section going to the garage, so, from what I can remember. So, yeah, as you get along, uh, like the views are awesome, that's a farm, the field is flooded, you can see the Chevy sitting out there, bogged, right up the axles, you're going to have to go get out eventually, like, right? a uh, little trailer park, trailer sitting there, oh wait, now that's Fuel Depot or something, anyway. trailer park here, yeah, yeah it's really a nice looking place. Look, this mud here, it's not too bad, just kind of, again, just kind of stagger over. Just kind of watch and pick your path, trying not to just go right down the guts of it. It's a little If you find yourself slowing down too much, it should gear down, but it might not. Get ready to, like, hit your low range. Oh, right there, actually, I missed it in the neutral, but that's okay. And I grab high. Just keep your momentum good if you can. This stuff is pretty heavy dragging behind you. Of course, it's generally better for you to have better for you to have um, weight inside the truck. It's a double-edged sword. Obviously, you cut a little bit harder, but it also gives more traction. So. Oh, that was a bad bounce on that rock. Low range, winch. Gonna have to do this again. Come on. That's not moving it at all. Holy crow. Oh, it was that rock on the trailer. Great. That's just lovely. So now we're gonna have to get up a little bit. Don't get your space up too far. Parking brake. That in. Like I said, it's a bit of a mock around dealing with all these trailers, but like these are like three, three and a half thousand each or something like that, and you're going to want that money. Now, this next area that you see with all the water, don't even be afraid about that at all. Actually, you want to get in there. Um, that's hard rock in there, so you get really good traction. It's highway tires. As soon as you will see, as soon as we get in there, we're going to start pulling up speed. And it's like the whole same thing. got some extra cargo in this first trailer right behind us. Um, you can get rid of it, but you're going to want it eventually for your missions. So I would recommend, look, I tried to figure out how to go about this the best way, and I've discovered that really the only way, you can't really get a crane so you go in or block it out. Um, just flip the damn thing over with your winch. You'll see. I'll show you. Um, and once you do that, then you'll have access to sell the trailer to keep the cargo. So I'm going to release the first one, and then I will release... Oh, it's telling me I found the garage, which I have. Not only did I find the garage, there's an upgrade here and a vehicle. And this, this vehicle is pretty good, actually. Um, you know, for a starter one or whatever, it's not bad. But what it is, is money. Oh, yeah. Well, I went and moved that to garage. That was silly of me. I wasn't really supposed to do that. I screwed up because it's not going to let me leave the garage. Yes. Okay, look. I screwed up. That's not how you're supposed to do it. So I'm going to shortcut it. I'm going to go like this, which it'll say I have to go to Alaska, which that's how you do it, blah, blah, blah. This is not really the order of operations. Um, 
too busy talking, not enough paying attention. Um, I'm trying to just kind of keep you guys in the loop a bit as to what's going on instead of just having you watch me play the game. Um, so now I'm going to go back to the global map. I've completed what it says go there, which isn't done though. There's still more to be done there. I'll just show you. Um, I'm just kind of tricking through the game here, I'm trying to get out of being forced to do something because I want to get back and flip those trailers and sell them off and there's actually like three, one, two, three, four I think. Um anyways. Um so yeah, so leave the garage. So get out. So there's a couple of trailers that you can sell. So this one's got some steel planks. That's the store. This is where you sell them. Um, this one's got some steel planks and we want to get rid of those steel planks. Hopefully like this. Yes, I think it kind of worked. Yep, so those are detached. Um, I'll pull ahead here. I will. Uh, hmm. Steel planks are kind of coming with it. Try this a different way. So pull that out from the steel planks. There we go. That's what we want. We just want the trailer. We don't want to. We don't want the load. So use that wrench. Put that up there. Out so we can flip it back over. It's a bit stubborn. That's alright. I think we don't really this vehicle around for long. It's a bit rough on it. That's alright. Rough and rugged then. Just get her done. Like we say, back home. Give her a bit of a yank. And hopefully she'll come over. Yes, and they bust out just like that. So that's basically we're going to do those two trailers. And then we will flip them back over. Yep, cargo didn't come with it. That's good. I basically what I'm doing is just going to hook these trailers up. And keep in mind, I've played this game a bit. I mean, I still stumble into controls for hookups and all that stuff, but it looks quick, but you'll get the hang of it. But anyways, we're going to get these trailers over to the store, sell them, so we're going to need the money. So we've got one, two, three, four trailers to sell, which is great. So you just get in the menu, find the trailer that you've got attached, and instead of buying it, you're selling it. Which is super handy. And we've still got the materials. Now it's a bit of a mess, but you'll get a crane and come in here and fix that later. And you'll use those materials for missions. So they'll come in handy. Don't worry about that. One curtain side trailer that you see there, the green, well, the fabric green one with fabric on it, that's actually for a mission, so you can't sell that, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd say sell that one too. Um, there's another one that you can actually go if you get like, a little bit persistent. You can go back down the road on the other side of the trailer park, where I showed you guys, and there's a big flat deck sitting there with some concrete blocks on it. Now, I struggled to get it out with this vehicle, so I didn't really bother. Um, So yeah, I didn't really bother, it was just too much, too much hassle. I mean, I probably could go get it with the other truck that's got all-wheel drive, because it's a little bit more, a little bit more jam to get it out with. But, uh, yeah, maybe we'll do that, actually. Because it is definitely like a bit more cash and better. A bit more freedom. I mean, there's a couple ways you can go about it. You can sell your original Chevrolet vehicle, but it doesn't, like, matter because you can buy that back as soon as you get enough money for it. So, so don't ever 
never sweat kind of what you're selling and stuff. Um, and the other thing too, another tip, um, when you get new upgrades, so like we'll, we've got the upgrades for the suspension on that Chevrolet, and what we're going to do is we will sell the old version, like the original version, um, just to get the money. Or, if you need more money, you can sell the actual upgrade and then you can buy it back later. Once the upgrade's unlocked, you've got it unlocked, which is good. Uh, really good, actually. Uh, it's getting a bit dark here. Alright, there we go. Hit, push those out of the way, just a couple of boxes, you can save those out of later. Come back with the crane. And yeah, get these things sold in place, guys. Let's just do all this. Let's see, let's see. One to one, sell that, close. Alright, that's pretty much it. So recover that vehicle. Now, I did that in wrong order. I should have done all that stuff and then recovered this vehicle. Um, retain it. Go back. So now you try to go to your local map, and it won't. It says you doesn't want to. So you're gonna have to go to your global map. Click on Black River again to get back into that map. So then you can jump into the Fleet Star. Okay. So double click the Fleet Star. It's dead, but that's okay. You just hit the recover button go in the menu recover it so that's great retain that so now it's completely fixed go back in your global map double click black river I'm doing it that way because like normally if I didn't jump into the other place it would have been kept telling me to do it yeah another way jump in your Chevrolet same thing recover that okay so now when you recover that you go to customize now I'm gonna do this I'm just gonna sell the suspension because it's the, the new ones worth more so um, so I say okay so I sell it, 4,500, there you go, big hit, boom, sell that thing, you can buy it back later, you can always buy it back later. Um, and then, once I retain all of these, I go into, so now we'll continue almost where I screwed up a bit, and we'll go back, so now we go into Alaska, okay, so that's kind of where you're going at it, so Alaska, you go into the garage, so now we're continuing the next section. Um, yeah, Alaska is very difficult. You can try to start your game in there. Um, once you get this truck that I've, that, you know, once you get this truck that I'm talking about, you actually might be able to pull it off. I haven't really done it, but uh, anyways, going to truck storage, get your um, new one. So not the old GMC. Get the Fleet Star. Deploy that. Okay. Go out. Customize. Remember, you got the upgrade for it, so you go into the all-wheel drive upgrade. And you put the engageable all-wheel drive you install that now go to your rear wheel drive and you can sell that and that's an extra thousand dollars there you go okay so now you got thirty one thousand dollars you do not too bad um, as you can see I do have the con but I'm not gonna play with it just pretend that's not there okay um, so anyways now leave the garage and you have an initial mission oh I forgot one key piece, and because I forgot one key piece, I'll just go like this, recover, hit B, recover, go back in there, customize, and I need a flat deck. So I will get the flatbed, I'll purchase it, I'll be selling it back later, because you just don't need to keep it. It's just money that you're going to want. So you do, I mean, you could trailer store or whatever, and actually I think if you really want to, you can just use this trailer here, but I just find things generally easier, like if you can get away with using the flat deck over a trailer, you are way better off. But before I do forget, I will go over here, and I will hook into that trailer, and we are going to sell this. More money. So just like free money sitting around. Oh, don't mind my swears. Sorry, folks. Sorry if you're offended by that, but well shit happens um anyways so we're gonna go around we've got a quest or a mission whatever you want to call it uh, it wants us to go here see the little highlighted go to blackbird pipeline construction and wants us now you're gonna need to do this like if you want to do anything in this place you're gonna need to get this contract done anyway so this is a really good one plus it gives you some money and it's fairly quick relatively easy so we're gonna accept that so that's accepted and it wants us to deliver two service spare parts now, if you look on your map, right, there's an arrow up, that's a pickup, arrow down, that's a drop off, okay, with the little triangles. Um, this one's fairly straightforward, you just simply, oh, I'm going to throw my all-wheel drive on, because I can, there's also diff locks on this particular truck, so it's semi-capable, but you still got 
highway tires and it's still kind of a piece of crap. Um, but yeah, so go down the road, get yourself down there, make a left as you come out of the garage, watch the corner, it's a bit tricky, ice is not fun, especially on a vehicle that has like highway slicks, and yeah, it's pretty slippery, but anyways, you'll make your way down here. Um, so we're just going to go down and get two service spare parts, and we'll drop them off, and then we're going to get our proper vehicle. Yeah. Pretty much set to go to whatever area you want. Now, I will suggest I'll do an extended version and I'll suggest wh where to go. Um, there's one other mission that I feel like if you do do it, it's a bit of a muck around, but if you do do it, you will gain um, a lot from it. Uh, really nice vehicle, first of all. Anyway, so all the time when you come to these white box and tasks, just, just accept them. You know, you don't have to do it right now, but it's just good to accept it because it might be off in a different area. You might find yourself over there. Um, yeah, it's just a good way to kind of get things done. But, um, cargo management. So we'll serve the spare parts. Grab two of those. And I think you do get bonus. I haven't tested it, but I think you do get bonus points if you actually go and put it on the crane bed and you have your own crane and you load it yourself. Now, I haven't tested it, but the game maker says you do. Um, I probably should do that sometime, but I'm using too much of a rush. So I might just, just get along and get things done. Um, but yeah, so anyways, go back the way you came, and you're going to go head up there and drop that off. And as soon as you've done that, then you're going to recover and go get a new vehicle. Um, and that's pretty much the real gist of the startup. Because at this point you've got your garage unlocked, you've done your minimum requirements, what the game kind of wants you to do, and now it's just open world and it's what you want to do. Now, I will suggest that once it's your turn, like once you just kind of want to do whatever, you go pick an area, go get all your watchtowers first, go get all the watchtowers, once you get the watchtowers, you go get all your upgrades. Now, the scout truck obviously is handy. We'll see, I can't remember how much money I'm going to have at this point, but I think you might have to sell it, so you might have to do one more mission in order to get your scout truck back. But anyways, uh, this snow is a bit tricky. Hit low and hit your diff locks, whatever button that is for you, whether you're playing PlayStation or PC. So I'm just kind of tracked her through this slowly. It's a big old snow drift, just like back home. Just kind of keep into it. Big deal. As soon as you kind of get through, keep your all-wheel drive on. And Send it, full noise, let her fly, yeah. but pipeline's right there, it's not very far, drop it off, and you'll be in pretty good shape, but yeah, it's really probably my, one of my better startups, I'd say, it's gone fairly smooth, won't always go this smooth. So you're going to need that pipeline to be open for a lot of different things to get bigger trucks through. Other than that, you got to go through the, the area over here, run underneath one of these pipes, and there's only a few vehicles that are able to get in there. Plus, just tips here, there's actually a, what is it, the cat thing is sitting back there to get repaired, the mission for that. And the Hummer is back there too, also, just in case you were curious. But that's another, that's another thing there. So we'll recover. So we're pretty much done with this, so we want to customize. We want to go to our frame add-ons, and we want to sell our flatbed. Uninstall it, sell it, get your money back. Don't need it. Um, back out, and retain this. Now here's where it gets interesting. Now a lot of people will say, so you go to your truck storage, right? You get your fleet star, you sell that. You're like, oh, okay, see you later, buddy. That was good. You know, GMC, cool looking truck, good maker. Not a very good vehicle. Um, so you got now 102,000. You can buy quite a few different. You can sacrifice your Chevy for another 12 grand, but I don't feel like you need to. Um, what I do is now I will go to the global map. So look, if I go to the truck store, I can buy a bunch of different American ones. A lot of people say International Paystar. That's the go. You know, that's the good one. I say no. You want to go to Russia and buy this. Um, if you do, look, it's a little bit slower, but in the long run it pays off, and it's a much more powerful vehicle than that Paystar. Um, yeah, like by a long shot, I've found. But like I said, that's my own opinion. So anyways, go to the global map, go into Drowned Lands, 
go to the little map items, find the garage, double click, <coughs> or just double click, sorry, excuse me, the garage on the map, and uh, go. Do, 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 loading. Loading spot. Hey, there we go. All right, so we're back in. Um, so we'll go to the truck store. Now, the American trucks are no longer available. Oh, that's just a mod I've got. I never used the dang thing. Actually, I really should get rid of it. Um, it's pretty cool, though, just, just saying. Um, but anyways, this vehicle right here is what I go to. Um, I've used this all the way through. I mean, I still use it at 28. It's, uh, yeah, it's a very good vehicle. So I just purchase it, deploy. I go back. Now... If you don't want to muck around or do the second part in Russia, you just retain that, and then you go back, take your global map, go back to Michigan, go to Black River, and you start at the garage, and you work your way through the setup. But this vehicle will help you in all manners. It's absolutely phenomenal what it'll go through at that sort of a level. Um, it's eight-wheel drive, eight by eight. It's full-time, differential lock, full-time. It just goes through everything. It's a fairly slow, though, I will warn you, but the thing is, it's very low-geared. So you can hold fourth gear through some pretty heavy mud and heavy things. So it's slower on the highway, faster stuff, but it's much quicker on the very heavy stuff, which you're gonna, if you want the shortcuts and do the heavy stuff, then that's what you want. You want a heavy lifter like that, something that's gonna chug through everything. You won't find yourself getting bogged very often. But anyways, okay, so now that's pretty much the end of that, okay? So we're good. Now, extended version. I'll show you what I think the next step should be, and this is what I would do. This is, yeah. Um, well, I've got a friend that's going to start playing. When we reset, this is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go to global map. I'll go to, back into Russia, which I'm already there, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to take this vehicle. I'm going to go to take my Azov. I will deploy it. I've got another $8,000 to work with. I will customize it. And look, the other thing is, if you can get that advanced special gearbox on there, that is a massive upgrade for this vehicle. It's, it's a, it gives you an extra gear. It, that's where you get more speed. It's, it's a really good upgrade. I recommend that over anything. Um, anyways, I'm going to go to frame add-ons, and I'm going to go to the maintenance frame add-on right there. I'm going to purchase it. Okay. I'm going to go back. I'm going to leave the garage, and we're going to go for a drive. So this is the second phase. This is the second stuff. If you want to know what to do kind of after you've gotten that, the as off, um, stay in Russia and do at least this one thing. And you'll thank me for it, you'll thank yourself for it. It's, uh, it's not easy, but you have to do about three runs at it. I believe, yes, three runs. Um, with this maintenance add on, it's not easy driving, so just take it easy, be careful, take your time, go past the dry oil tanker, so come out, go left. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And then once you get across the, the concrete the slabs that are across the swamp, turn left. Now this is where it starts getting pretty tricky. So everything about Russia is fairly off camber, it's called. So it's a bit side slopey. It kind of wants to tip you over, so you've got to pick your angles a little bit. Like I stay low here, and then I cut, as it starts to climb, I cut a little bit right so that I can lessen the side angle on the slope. Otherwise, you potentially tip over. So yeah, it's a bit of driving technique. But as you can see, I mean, it's still fourth gear, high gear, it's trucking along. I guess it's kind of slow, but it'll just continue to go at the speed through almost all of this, um, other than when I let off, which I will. It's, it's got some tricky stuff. So anyways, you take the right, you keep going up, you go stay to the right. Um, this is all about basic stay to the right, all the way up. But what you're going to get is a Targa truck, I think it's called. Uh, to, uh, I can't quite remember. So another one. So take this right here. Be careful on the corner. It's a bit tricky. The turning radius on this truck is also a little bit horrendous. So you really got to kind of like swing your turns a little bit. Sometimes you got to take two or three points at it. It's just the way it goes. But if you go up there, this little bush track, and I'll show you on the map where I am once we got up there. I don't really want to let off. I'm just going to keep going. I 
got the starter tires on there, which are at least all terrains, not muddies or anything. It struggles a little bit, but again, fourth gear still, it's still trucking along, it's still full gear. You know, you don't have to jump necessarily low, low range. The other thing it does have too is a high range. So you can go in a high range, which is like, um, so there's, when you get the advanced box, there's low, one, two, and three, and then there's high. And high is like higher than low three, but lower than automatic or standard box. So it kind of gives you like a bit of ground. Another thing is if you slow down too much in it, you will stall. So anyways, this is the one you want to take. So SOS, you get the Taiga. Taiga? Taiga, 6436. This thing is an absolute weapon. Um, so you got to get in there with your maintenance. All you got to do is get in here and fix it. So we get in, we get close, hit repair. Okay, get that out of the way. Get repair, you find your source maintenance frame add-on. You don't want to, I want to repair that. So you just hit, so what I do is I go, I go engine, gas tank and gearbox, okay? Now that'll actually allow it to drive. Now, hang on, and I'm going to refuel it. So, change the source, change the target. There we go, we refueled that. Now, the only reason I'm kind of doing this, well, you know what, I'm not gonna this time. We'll just, we'll just do this. Recover, okay, so we burnt all our stuff. Recover it, leave garage, go back again. So you're just going to make this drive three times. But once you're done the third time of making this drive, you're going to own that vehicle. So it's a really easy, quick way to get a huge upgrade at the start. Um, it's a very quick, like, off-road truck. It's, and it's fast. So like, whereas this is like your tractor, super power truck, heavy lifter, which is awesome, especially the size of the that is your runner. You know? So be between the two of them, you're going to have all your bases covered. Lights are always going to go. Um, you're going to have all your bases covered, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, it's really good stuff. But yeah. So again, watch your angles. Like, it's, it wants to suck you into a side slope. Don't let it. It's a good chance it'll tip you over. And when you obviously aim up the hill, but don't hit. Oh, try not to do that. Stuff like that will kind of get you flipped over too. You'll find out. You'll do it a few times. You'll find out what limits are. That being said, this this truck is very uh, forgiving. So it doesn't turn that well and all that sort of stuff, and it's very slow, but it's very forgiving and it's very capable of off road. So, I don't know. Do what you want. I mean, if you want to go get a pay start, go get a pay start. It makes you happy. But, I don't know. That's, yeah. Play the game quite a bit. I mean, it's not my style, but like I said, each to their own. I feel like this is a much better upgrade than the base star. Yeah, again, so get up there, keep it right, keep it right again. That one's a very tricky turn also. It's, again, side sloping. You can see it. Like, you can see the angle that it's sitting on. You can almost go in cab just to show you. Now, you can see how I took that other track, right? I'm not going to... I'm trying to not take the same track because now I've already made cuts. Oh. If you ever find yourself tipping, just keep turning down the hill, like, Get yourself pointed down the hill, then you better all oh, see I fell into my own tracks. So I'll back out a little bit. I'll turn the wheels one way, and then I'll turn them the other, and I'll go forward. And hopefully I can get out of my tracks. No. Okay, quick winch. Just hit the F, so I pointed it at that. Pointed it at that tree with the camera. Myself out, just enough to get myself going. Get out of those tracks, because like every time you go up and down, you cut in another set of tracks, and you make it softer and softer and softer. That's the nice thing about this game is like it takes that into account. It's just like real life. You know, if you get like ten vehicles going down a track, you don't really want to be vehicle ten unless you're very capable. Because you're going to have the hardest time. It's going to be the most pushed and beat up. I'm going to have a heck of a time getting through on the third one. I think. Anyways, it's all right sort it out. Sometimes I will come in and actually drag this out on the first one, just to the next, to the first area, just to make it easier. But anyways, um, so we already refueled it. 
will repair all this time. Okay, so it's which isn't fully repaired. It's not quite done yet. Um, so one more try. Recover that. Accept. New garage. Last run. This truck is going to be ours. As soon as we get there, it's done. Finished. And that's pretty much the end of my starter start up as tips and tricks to make your life easier so that uh, you'll excel in this game basically and your friends will be like how do you get through that sort of thing like, yeah. you're sitting there spinning your wheels and well, i'm pretty slow but i haven't been slowing down at all and just kind of keep going the same speed so it's more of a tractor style of vehicle. so it carries weight really well as you can tell this maintenance add-on is not right Heavy cranes also not the right either. Hence the term heavy crane. But uh, yeah, it carries it really well. It does a good job. Unfortunately, you can never quite change the tire sizes, but it's uh, the only, the next vehicle that's probably better is this brother, I guess, which is like a model. But I think you have to level up to get it. So you know, it's, it's a long ways further down the game. You see, I turned hard left because I could see that it's kind of tipping over the left-hand side, so just kind of turn into it. Turn, turn yourself down the hill with momentum. Try to keep yourself from tipping over as best you can. Because obviously, once you end up on your side, you're going to have to self-recover. You have to get another truck or self-recover. And in this case, I don't actually have another truck to come to it, so it's self-recover. Which means you to come back in the back. So try to keep yourself upright. So we're back at this harder section again, this smaller, rougher, muddier, slopier, fairly difficult section actually, like I find it a bit nerve wracking. I mean maybe I should flip this thing to show you kind of how you do, but I don't really want to, I'm kind of close enough anyway, I'd rather not have to come do another one, but basically this is all you do, just three runs over here, stuck right okay so release that one go to your back oh. see if you can oh sorry the camera angle is going to be a bit rough oh it won't let me go forward to that one and kind of that that will probably have to do for now you'd be surprised what that'll do Okay, I'm gonna relax, let that off. We'll try that again, that's the one I want. Actually, that's the one I want. The nice thing about that side body is it actually keeps me stable. I mean, if I started to flip, <coughs> excuse me. I could just keep hooked into it and it'll hold me up. It'll keep it from rolling over. Oh, I probably should have low range in this stuff, but look, it's very low geared anyways. Like, low range is incredible low geared. So, like I said, that advanced box, and like, that personally, that's probably the next step I would kind of gun for. I believe it's in Alaska, so it's a bit of a muck around to try to get to. We'll probably just do some missions with it the way it is. Uh, that's what I would be aiming for. That advanced box. Ooh, that was a bit of a tippy situation. So now we're going to repair and repair all, and we're done. Accept, close, recover. Yes, I want to recover it. Retain that. Go back to the local map. Now that Taiga is ours. We. Recover that. Look at that puppy. Um, there's suspension upgrades for it. Like in the end, this thing can turn into quite the beast with some fairly large tires, like 51 inch. Um, I've got these on, you know, on the end one, but you have to have the suspension and all that sort of stuff. And the uh, the horsepower is right through the roof. You know, it gets all the way up to S basically. So super and 
those are kind of the numbers you get. It's it's really a fantastic vehicle. Um, incredibly fast, even with off-road box. Yeah, you know, it's incredibly fast. Um, yeah, yeah, you get the off-road box in Michigan, obviously. So in the first area, um, a lot of frame add-ons, right? So you got pretty much the whole arsenal of frame add-ons. Um, same with the other one. You know, you get you get everything through there. Um, the snorkel, the good snorkel comes late, but that's all right. The vehicle doesn't get bogged very much. Um, she floats pretty good. It doesn't do heavy really great. It is okay, but it's not not as good as the other one. Um, you know, this vehicle is much better for heavy. Um, yeah. So now, anyways, the maintenance add-on, I would actually go back in. I would uninstall and sell that. Get your money back, because you're going to need that to go do your missions and stuff. Like, there will be some missions where you need it, but again, you know, sell it. So you got all the frame add-on options on this. You know, high, low, loading crane, sideboard. Now look, it used to be that you could do a loading crane and a flatbed and hook a trailer on, but I don't know why, but this last um, update, they've changed that. So now you can't do that, which is unfortunate because it made it really overpowered, which is probably good anyways that they changed that. But but look, you can still use, like, uh, I like to use a loading crane and a saddle low in a combination and just pull a flat deck behind me, which is pretty good so you got five slots plus you got the crane I mean you can kind of do anything you just keep cruising around picking up loads and dropping them off and and it'll get you there all the time and again like I said the biggest thing you can do for this is get that advanced special gearbox it's, it's in Alaska I'm sure you can find some YouTube videos to sort you out on that and on that note first whatever hour or so of gameplay I'll have to check the timer on this video but uh, that's me Farmer Joe out. Peace. Enjoy. Subscribe. Like. Dislike. Say why. Have a good day, guys. Later.